Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm not feeling well and I'm not going to be using a camera, but I wanted to get a video out to you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create the request for sub and notification bell animation you see below with DaVinci Resolve for free. So stay tuned. To start this project, you're going to create a new project. And as you can see, I've already done it, but I'm going to create, it's called, going to call it sub and bell. I'm going to put two behind it just so I don't overwrite my old project. Come up here to the little cog wheel. I'm gonna change it to 30 frames a second. Change that to 30 and save. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know, already know what I'm doing because it's just gonna be the same thing over and over again. I'm gonna go to the edit tab, right click up here in the media pool. New fusion composition. I am gonna use 30 frames a second and just create. Pull it down into the edit window and we're going to go into fusion once you're in fusion you'll see the media out here you'll pull it off to the side and as you can see it's snapping if you uh, want it to snap it's a lot easier to organize your stuff right click down here in the grid arrangement tools and click this to grid to start out i'm going to import those two items or those two uh pictures uh, if you don't have them um you can get them in my discord link in the description below Right click here, import media. And these are the two I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna to pull the subscribe down in here. I'm gonna F2 and name it subscribe. So I know which image it is. Pull the notification bell down here, F2 and name it bell. So I know which two of these images are. You see my videos before, you already know this, but if you right click on the right side on this one, it'll show in the right window. If you click on the left one, it'll show in the left window. So I can say I can show the bell on this one and I can show the subscribe in this one because of how these are highlighted here. Okay, since our bell color is not white, I am going to come over here and go to the effects library, tools, uh, mask, and we're gonna pull a bitmap in here. Now I clicked it, it doesn't need to hook up that direction. It needs to hook this way. The bell needs to go to the yellow. Bitmap shows up over there. It showed up on the left. It's still not going to be white. We need to incorporate a background that is white. And then we need to incorporate a transform node. So now we have our white bell. So down here for the subscribe button, we need to merge these two together now. So I'm gonna put the subscribe on there and the transform on that and show the merge in the right. Now make sure you're clicking the transform node for the bell because we're gonna change the shape of the bell. I'm gonna reach up here and I'm gonna grab it and make it roughly the same size as that. And we're gonna pull it off to the side. Now I want to keep the orientation between subscribe and the bell the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull another transform node, hook merge up to it, and we'll view it in this window over here. Now I can resize both of them all together and we can put them in the bottom center just like that. Now with this transform node here, we also want to animate it um, blowing up. So over here you have your keyframes and if you've seen my videos before you understand what they are but this is where all these different things are going to be at those times now i'm going to clean these numbers up a little bit here so i'm going to put this one 0.56 this is going to be 0.13 and this is going to be 0.43 just so we have some two digit numbers to work with so what we're going to animate first is the whole logo coming in on the screen at zero frame we want this to be zero but i'm gonna go ahead and come over here to the frame 10 because that's when we want it to be fully expanded i'm gonna click this keyframe here so that we want that picture to be 0.43 in size at this frame i'm gonna go back down to zero frames we're gonna pull that down to zero it's gonna automatically make a keyframe for you 
just like that pops up now I want to animate the bell so here at about 35 frames we're gonna to go to the bells transform now if you try to ring it right here it kind of just rings like that you know and you want it to ring you know at the pivot point up here so I'm gonna control Z straighten that back up again this right here is the pivot point and you can move it up and down just like that and I want the pivot to be right there see how the bell's pivoting on the, the top part now so I'm gonna control Z actually we're at zero so I'm just fine on that one but now it's too high so we're gonna grab these little this little bar here and we're gonna bring it back down where it needs to be so on frame 35 it needs to be at zero the bell make sure you got the bell transform not this transform so the bell's gonna be at zero at 35 but at 40 I want it at negative 25 and then every five frames I change it to the opposite so positive 25 at the angle 50 negative 25 55 positive 25 60 negative 25 65 I'm gonna go positive 20 because the bell's gonna slow down just a little bit 70 negative 20 and then 75 it's going back to zero so with that animation it'll look like this Okay, and just like the notification bell, I'm gonna change the whole, this whole entire thing's pivot point higher. So I'm gonna raise it up. See where that falls. Yep, and then we'll move it back down to where it needs to be in the position. So if you're changing this transform node, it should stay in the same spot but we're just changing the pivot points of it. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna come up here to frame 115. And at frame 115, we want the angle to be the same. We want the position to be the same. Now these numbers might be slightly different in yours than mine. You're kind of just making yours in your location you want yours at. But, so I'm making a keyframe at 115 that I want my center point to be there and I want my angle to be there. At frame 120, I want this side to fall down. So I'll go to, I'll click on frame 120 and I pulled this angle until it was there, just like that. And it already makes me a keyframe. At frame 125, I want this thing to be at zero, but I also want it to be low. I also want it to be low so we're gonna have it come back down like this like it hit like it hit the bottom and you can see it just go ahead it goes ahead and animates it all as if it just fell down now I don't want it to fall off the screen so by 140 actually by let's let's do 130 and see how that looks real quick by 130, I want this to have fallen off the screen. Let's see what. Let's remove that keyframe. Let's see what 135 looks like with it falling off the screen. I don't like that. I do like the 130 better. So by 130, we're gonna have this fall off screen. I'm gonna go like that. The farther you have it go down, the faster it's gonna go down. Just 
just like that. I want to smooth this out a little bit. So what I'm going to come up here is I'm going to go to spline. And if you've seen my other videos, you know what this is already. This is the animation keyframes for everything. I'm going to take all this, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to press S to smooth it out. I'm not going to touch anything. The transform angle for the bell. This is the bell. Highlight it all, S to smooth it out. You may not see much of a difference, but it's a lot smoother than it was before. And as I said, the one on the right here is the one you're going to see going out. So connect your last transform to your media out. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Go over to the edit tab. I'm going to play. There it is. Deliver. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to browse my file locations. You're going to want to put it where you want this to go. Now here's the previous sub bell that I made before and I'm going to name this one differently so it, it doesn't come up the same. But this is the file location that I want my stuff to be at. So I'll save. Come down here. Format. QuickTime. GoPro Cineform. Change this to 16-bit. Now to get an alpha channel, you have to come up to individual clips, export alpha. I'm going to name this one sub bell YT. Click add to render queue, start render. And just like that, you got the, your subscribe and your notification bell animation done for your YouTube channel. It's that easy. It's free. And this is a simple, not a simple software to use, but it's, it's easy to do uh, simple animations like this. Now, if you like this video, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I do stream live on Twitch every Sunday and Monday night at 5 30 PM central standard time. So if you want to drop by there and we can talk about some of this stuff and have a good time, that'd be great. Otherwise I'll see you guys in all this next time I do a video like this. I have more planned out for you. I just haven't been feeling well and I want to get more videos like this.